हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज़ क्लास नंबर टू ऑफ द एक्सट्रीम बिगनर सीरीज फॉर ब्लेंडर इन द फर्स्ट क्लास वी कवर्ड द इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ ब्लेंडर इफ एनीवन मिस दैट क्लास दे कैन फाइंड द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन टू वॉच इट इन टू डेज क्लास वी विल एक्सप्लोर द ब्लेंडर इंटरफेस वेन यू हैव इंस्टॉल्ड ब्लेंडर एंड स्टार्टिड इट द फर्स्ट थिंग वी विल डू इज टेक अ लुक एट द ब्लेंडर इंटरफेस when you start blender you will see numerous tools and options on the screen which might seem overwhelming at first however don't worry as we progress and learn about each tool they will become much easier for you to understand and use in today's class i will just mention the names of the menus and give you a brief overview of each remembering these menu names will make it easier for you to understand and follow along the future classes and you will find it easier to understand the interface firstly at the top we have what is called the menu bar here we have options like file edit render window and help so this area is called main menu after that we have workspace buttons in the workspace buttons we have different interface layouts available which we are not using for now we will learn about them in the next classes this area is called workspace buttons the area below the main menu and workspace button is called the header so whenever i mention the header in the next classes you should know that i am referring to this area the area on the left side of the screen is called the toolbar it contains various tools and as soon as i select a tool its setting will appear above the toolbar where we can adjust the settings for that tool the middle area of the screen is called the viewport we will spend most of our time in the viewport because it's where all the objects we create will be displayed on the right side of the screen the upper panel is called the outliner the outliner in blender is a panel that provides a hierarchical view of all the objects in the scene it displays a list of objects collection and other elements present in the blender file the outliner allows user to easily select organize and manage objects within the scene by providing a structured overview of the entire project currently in the viewport we have the camera cube and light and these same three objects are also shown in the outliner we will dive into more detail about the outliner in the upcoming classes below the outliner we have the properties editor The properties editor in Blender is a panel used to view and edit properties of selected objects. It provides access to various settings and parameters related to the currently selected element in the 3D viewport or outliner. The properties editor is essential for adjusting object properties, applying materials, setting up scene settings and performing various other tasks related to the project at the bottom we have the animation timeline which is used for creating and editing animations we will explore this in detail in the future but for now you should know that this is the timeline let's quickly recap at the very top we have the menu bar along with the workspace buttons and below them is the header in the center we have the viewport while on the left side of the screen we have the toolbar on the right side above we have the outliner and below it is the properties editor and in the bottom here we have timeline in today's video i provided a brief overview of all the panels available in the default interface of blender i hope you have learned something valuable from today's class 
see you in the next class where we will dive deeper into learning blender so take care